Hey guys, I welcome you all to Scalar Academy's YouTube channel. So Python is an absolutely amazing language and with the help of Python, we can do a lot of things. So in Python, we have this library called as tkinter and with the help of tkinter, we can create GUI based applications or graphical user interface applications. So in this particular session, we are going to use tkinter to create a GUI based clock. Now, before we head on to the coding part, I request you guys to subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon so that you do not miss out on any of the notifications. So let's get started with the code. For this, we would need a library called as tkinter and with the help of tkinter, we can work with GUI or graphical user interface objects. Now, let me go ahead and import the required libraries. I'll write over here from tkinter import start, which would basically mean that from this library called as tkinter, I am importing all of the files. And after this, I would also require the time library because what we are actually creating is a clock. And from the time library, I want to represent the time in a string format. So here I shall write from time import. So I have something called as strf time, which would mean that I am representing time in string format. Now that I've created this, I'd have to create a window. So whenever we are working with tkinter, since we are creating GUI objects, we'd have to create a window for the same. So here, let me just go ahead and create a window. I'll write down window is equal to tk. And here you'd have to keep in mind that t is capital, k is small. So I'm basically creating a tkinter object or a tkinter window, and I'm storing that in this new object called as window. Now that I have created this, let me also add a title for this window. So I'll write down window dot title and inside this, let me just give in my clock. So now that I have created this, what I can do is add a label onto this window and that label would help me to show the time. So I'll write down label is equal to label. Now this, what you see is the widget. So I'm creating a widget label, which I can then go ahead and add onto my window. Now inside this label, since this is a part of window, this is what I'll give as the first parameter. So I'm creating a widget, which is basically a label and that would be part of my window. And I will give a color for the foreground and background. So foreground is basically the text color, which will uh, come over here. So I'll write down foreground and let me just set the foreground color to be equal to blue. Then I'll go ahead and add a background color over here. So let me write background and I'll set the background color to be equal to orange. So now that this is done, what I'd have to do is I'd have to pack this label onto my widget. So we have a layout manager called as pack and with the help of that, we are basically packing this or adding this onto my window. So here I shall write label dot pack. Now what I've done is I've created a label and I've also packed this into my window. Now after this, what I'd have to do is I'd have to create a method which would help me to create this clock. So I'll write down DEF with the help of which I can create a method and I'll call this method as clock. Now after this, what I'd have to do is I've imported something called as strf time and I'll use the same thing over here. So I'll write string is equal to strf time and I'd want the time in this particular format. So here I'll have percent %h, then I'll have percent %m, then I'll have percent %s which is basically the format of hour, minute, second. Let me add a colon after this as well. So I need a colon after minute. Then I do want this in the form of AM and PM. So I'll just write down percent P. So I've created the string, but then again, I'd have to add the string into my label. So as of now, the label which I've created has only a foreground color and a background color, but no text is present. So here I shall write down label and I will add this argument called as text. And whatever string I get from this time, that string is what I'll be adding as text onto my label. 
then going ahead i'd need to set a font so i'll give the font type as let's say arial now that this is set what i can do is since i'd have to update this text so here i'll have label dot after and i'd want to update this text after every 1000 milliseconds which would basically mean i am updating this after every second and the text is coming from clock so here what we are doing is basically updating this and the same we are putting up in the label now i have created this we've got an error over here so i'd have to give in an equal to symbol now let me run this again over here now going ahead since everything is set what i can do is just go ahead and invoke or call this clock method and also i'd have to start the main loop of my window so here i'll write down window dot main loop and when i write down window dot main loop with the help of this i will be able to run my main program so let me execute this again and let me also execute this so we've again got an error we have label object is not callable so here i would have to write down label dot configure because i've just created this label widget and here i'm configuring this now let me run this again and let me run this you see this star symbol which would basically mean we are running this or executing this program now let me show you guys how this looks so folks this what you see over here is our clock we have successfully created this now let me expand this and as you see i've given the title my clock and as you see this is also incrementing every second so we had given the foreground color to be equal to blue and the background color to be equal to orange and this is what we see over here so if i just go back you see that the foreground color is blue and the background color is orange and that is what we have now let's say if i want to change this color of the background or maybe even increase the font size that is something which i can do so what i'll do is i will first restart and clear all of the outputs now that all of the outputs have been cleared i can just go ahead and change the background color over here so let's say instead of orange if i would want a green color i'll change that and over here inside font you see this is arial i'll just change the font size let me given the font size to be equal to 125 now let me run all of these lines of code from the beginning so here i'll also run this let me just execute this and this is the final line let me hit enter now let me see so as you see over here i've changed this background color which is green and also i have increased the font size of time now again let me zoom this over here you see that this is of background color is of white now let's say if i would want to change the background color of the window that is also something which i can do so let me go ahead and do that so here again i will restart and clear all of the output here in this particular cell what i'll do is i'll write down window dot i will again use configure method over here before that i'll have to run these three cells and here let me just write down window dot configure and inside this i would need to give a background color so let's say if i would want to change the background color to be equal to green i'll just keep it as green now let me run all of these cells over here and let's get the result let me close this for now and let me zoom this so as you see initially the background color was white i have changed this to green and that is why you have the entire thing to be green so folks this brings us to the end of this class where we have learned how to create a clock using tkinter and if you have found this session to be informative please do like this video and do also subscribe to the channel thank you very much and let's meet up in the next one